Good morning, everyone, and happy Tidbit Tuesday, and happy Election Day. I'm not sure happy is the right choice of words, but I fully recognize that we were all in anticipation of who the next president will be in our country. So I've been thinking about the concepts of choice and freedom, and how important choice and freedom are in our country. In fact, freedom is a basic human right across the globe. So I was thinking about what my choices were today, and I chose to go on a hike because I know nature facilitates change. And I know this is where I find calm and peace. I could have also chosen to stay at home, listen to the media, talk to people, listen to who's ahead and who's behind and pay attention to the poll numbers. And I thought, why would I choose stress and anxiety over peace and calm? I was thinking about the choices that we have and how we'll respond to the outcome of this election. And we have choices there too. We could either choose to respond in fear or we could choose to respond in faith. And if we choose to respond in fear, oftentimes fear is like a poison, kind of festers in us. And we oftentimes say and do different things than we would normally say under circumstances where we feel safe and calm. Or we could respond in faith. And faith is recognizing and fully understanding there's a system in place bigger than ourselves and beyond ourselves that has already determined the outcome. So regardless of who the winner is, think about how you will respond to those people and get in the shoes and place yourself in the shoes of those people. Social media is really a, a platform for good, but it can also be a platform for division. If we choose to feed the Facebook platform in fear and ego, then that only adds to the division in our country. So I'm just asking that people be mindful of how you respond, regardless of either you are on the winning side or the losing side of this election. And think about that. And honestly, if you choose faith, you will not go wrong. So choose faith. Happy Tidbit Tuesday, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.